Two men have been indicted for killing two workers outside a tire shop in Riviera Beach more than a decade ago. The Riviera Beach Police Department plans on making the big announcement tomorrow morning. One of the victims' families, it's the news they've thought they would never hear. CBS 12's Lily Ortiz spoke with one of the men's widows ahead of tomorrow's news conference. She joins us in Riviera Beach tonight with more. Cynthia Oziros tells me she will stand beside police as they share the details of how the pieces of this cold case mystery finally came together. She's still in a state of shock, but so grateful detectives never gave up. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. A roller coaster of emotions is how Cynthia Oziros describes her reaction. After Riviera Beach detectives told her they identified two suspects in connection with the decade old cold case of her husband of 30 years. The officer and the FBI and the, and the sergeant and the chief came to my office. I kind of believed it then. <laughs> I was very happy, very excited. I said, thank you very much. I actually gave him a hug. It was an un, unreal feeling that they really found him. Her husband, 54-year-old Murato Zeros and 18-year-old DeAndre McCoy lost their lives outside the old Florida Sunshine Tire Shop south of the Broadway Corridor 10 years ago. The investigation into the ice cold case began to heat up after detectives re-examined evidence and witness statements. It's unclear how they narrowed in on the two suspects, but last week a grand jury indicted two men, Jeffrey Brown and LaVon Heath, a felon who's currently serving time for another murder. Heath and Brown now face charges for the decade-old robbery of McCoy and Oziros, including first-degree murder. Before the announcement, it's been hard for the victim's families. Before his murder, Oziros ran businesses to support his family. Loved his family, loved his kids, his grandkids. People in the neighborhood used to call him stepdad because he was just a dad to everybody. And um, he just wanted the best for his family. She almost gave up fighting for justice. I would drive around town and I see all these pictures of people on you know, at the bus stop and cold case and, you know, and I, I didn't really have that much hope, but, um, but they came through. <laughs> As for the family of the other victim, Cynthia has this message. To the other mother who lost her son at the mm -hmm. same time, you know, just, they got him. I just hope that people just keep the faith and keep praying and keep hoping and wishing and it'll happen one day. We'll find out more from detectives of how they were able to link the two suspects to this crime. Count on us to be here for that news conference in the morning. In Riviera Beach, I'm Lily Ortiz, CBS 12 News.